this is how you remove the hood uh, there's a lot of stuff that you need to do uh, if we replace it start with all the stuff in front of you while it's still up instead of trying to do it on the floor this is a 10 millimeter just open it up don't lose any of the part Okay, this is out. I'm just gonna put it aside for here for now. Now we're gonna change it to remove the small spring here over there. This small spring, uh, this one is eight millimeter. Because it will have no sense to do a 10 and a 10, one or the other, so they did 10 and eight. This is a long screw for fucking small spring. <laughs> okay, those pieces are done. Now, um, we can remove uh, those pieces here. Uh, those are again gonna be like 10. Those are the hood latches. Remember on those left and right, it's very important. Then it's gonna be a piece of plastic that you have to kind of remove and keep also it's a good opportunity to clean those out for now I will just let it sit over here so I know what side is what even though I think they are the same but I don't want to take the risk other side okay now if you look around what else you have you have over here uh, those are those pieces that help the hood to land on your windshield without breaking it so those are pretty easy to to take out you just press them and they take out and what I'm saying that this have no place to put your finger through Okay, I'm gonna get the needle nose plier to do this with. Yeah, this one, why I think are way too big. Miss, work miracle to remove those guys. Okay, now, if you look whatever left, those are your hoses for your windshield sprinkles. Um, try to see wherever they're gonna come out from this is where you're gonna take them usually they come out from here easily this is one hose and there is another hose here so there is two hose in this tube. okay just leave it where it is it will be easier for later those you just uh, pressed and they're supposed to come out And this is the piece that we just took out. It's better to inspect it before you put it back. And we have another one right here. Now we do have over here, this is the hook that go on the top. We're gonna have to remove this as well. And over here we have those pieces 
that uh, we need to pull out those are the hose grips uh, I need to see like if those just get pulled out or uh, clamp but uh, this is the last thing I'm gonna do those one are again this is like uh, 10 millimeters And this was that part okay we're gonna leave it with the screws just gonna leave it here for now now let's see those pieces over there Now after everything is clean, we're going to remove it. We remove it from the hinges on the top, not from those hinges over there. There is more hinges that hook up directly bottom. This is not what we're removing. Those are staying. So we're going to close this. Bring it out gently. And we're going to open those. Now, those are a major problem. When they paint those vehicles, they paint it on top. Of those hinges so this is going to break the paint going to break on it right now so let's get the tool and see how it's work okay so whoops we're gonna start here uh, it's probably gonna end up breaking the, the paint and doing some damage but there's nothing to do you can heat it up but it's gonna be a problem there's a Loctite and other stuff inside Wow they close pretty pretty hard Oof, this thing don't want to move I'm gonna need a bigger tool okay we try with a bigger tool let's see if we have luck in the other side I feel like it's getting locked instead of open that's it okay this is one two and I just cracked the entire paint around it but it's no matter This is good, just loose. You can hear the snap, it's just the pain break. So after you loose it up, it's a pretty long bolt, don't try to open it by hand, just use the machine. Of course it's the wrong side. So what amazing, this thing uh, was having a little bit of Loctite on it, but it looked like more dirt than Loctite. Okay, now this piece just come up. There is a little bit corrosion over here. We're going to clean it up before we're doing anything. This is also a little bit not so bad. Uh, we're gonna put it directly on paint, so it's not gonna be an issue. Mm 
There's no paint here at all. Okay, and whatever left right now is to remove the hood and we are done. So we'll start by putting the bolts, not even closing them yet, just make sure that they grab in the bottom. There's two pieces that holding it together and we just have to hold them first. If you cannot turn it by hand, it's mean that it's not straight. Okay, now we're gonna go over and try to adjust everything from the outside. I'm gonna have to do this a couple times. Okay, and then I'm just gonna drill it slowly in. But not all the way, very close, but not all the way. Just so this piece lift up, so I can still move it. Okay, now. What we want to do is move everything more or less to be squared. Now I'm going to lock it into place. I'm not going to torque it by hand right now because I'm still going to shift it again. After I put all the other ingredients, what we're going to do now, we're going to add everything else that we removed, make sure that the hood closed the right way, and go from there. This is, I'm just going to clean them a little bit before. You have to put a plastic slider right there. Make sure that this piece is clean. It should go right there. And then all you need to do is make sure it's in place. This one is done. Let's do the other side. Same trick, clean this, just slide it up. those two pieces are secure now what we want to do is uh, put those windshield uh, wiper sprayers those are a little bit deeper on this one they go right there this is one this two now we're gonna skip to the centerpiece 
Now, when you hook up this piece, there is a spacer here that you need to fit on those two holes over there in order to have it the right way. Okay, this is like an 8 millimeter to close it back. Correction, it's a 10. Okay. Okay, this one is a nice drop. And I broke it. And that's it. Okay, so this is gonna fit in the hole over there. There's a hole that this need to go to. Okay, place. And now we have to do our hitch. The hitch was a 10 millimeter. Same story, you need to fit there, you need to fit here. Okay, this one is set. Now, what we need to do, we have the two support for the top, we have to put those in. Those going from the back. Okay, those one you have to kind of push in, they don't want really to get back in. That's it, they are locked into place. Make sure that they're stuck. That's it, then let's go back to the front here. Now we have to hook up all our plumbing back. We have those pieces. One was going here, one was going there. And then this is our sprinklers system. I'm gonna hook it back. One go here. Make sure that the wires go into the right place. And this will go right there. We need to lock it in place. Okay, and now we're all set.